One of the quickest and easiest ways to make your lettering pop is by adding a shadow to it, and it's actually really simple to do. I add a shadow to my lettering anytime it looks a little flat and boring and it instantly makes it look more interesting. So I'm about to show you how to add shadows, tips for making the shadow look really good, and then as a bonus, I'll show you some extra fun shadow ideas you can try. So first up, you'll need some lettering, of course. And next, you just want to pick somewhere around your lettering to position an imaginary light source. So I'm just going to put mine up here. Now we're just going to add a shadow on the opposite side from the light source. So since the light is in the upper left corner here, I'll just do the opposite of that and do the bottom right side of all the letters. So if we look at this first stroke right here, we'll put a shadow on the bottom here. And then for the next line, we'll do a shadow along the right, along the right of this stroke, and then continue that down. And then as we come down here, we're going to switch to the other side of this line so that we can do only the bottom of it and not the top. So again, we're only putting the shadow on the bottom right of these lines. And if you're using a brush pen like I am, you can really use that brush tip to smoothly mold the shadow around the letters so that it looks really smooth instead of sticking out and looking kind of awkward. And actually, we also need a shadow to the right of this stroke right here. And for the kind of shadow I'm doing right here, it might be a little more accurate if I'd placed the light source a little bit lower. But that's okay because it doesn't need to be super realistic. It's just a general guide to follow. So I'll put a shadow to the right side of all of these down strokes, along the bottom of this cross stroke, and continue doing that all throughout the letters. It does take some time to kind of think this out and figure out where you need to put the shadow, but with practice it does get easier and you can start to do it a lot more quickly. To make it easier for yourself, pick a shadow placement and stick with that so it doesn't get confusing. I always make my shadows in the same place, at the bottom right. And obviously you don't have to imagine a light source every time because once you've practiced it a few times, you just kind of memorize where to put the shadow. Tip number one is to use a contrasting color for the shadow. So for example, if you used a dark color for the lettering, use a light color for the shadow that contrasts with that. Or if you do the lettering in a light color, then use a darker color for the shadow. Because again, you want that contrast so that the shadow stands out from the rest of the lettering. Tip number two is to follow the shape of the letters. As you're drawing the shadow alongside the letters, be careful to follow that shape where the lines curve, follow those curves, and you can even mimic the width of each line to make it look especially realistic. Tip number three is try spacing the shadow out a little bit from the letters. So there are really two ways you can do the shadow. You can either make the shadow right alongside the letter like this so that it's touching. And if you're using water-based brush pens like I'm using here, the colors will actually mix a little bit. Or you can leave a little gap between the letter and the shadow.
This is my favorite way to do it, and it adds a lot more movement and interest. Tip number four is space out your lettering enough so there's room to add a shadow and everything doesn't look cramped. So if I write the word hello and there isn't much space between the letters and it's kind of cramped, and then I try to add a shadow, it just starts to look kind of messy because there just isn't enough room for everything that's going on. So if I write the word again and space it out enough, then I have plenty of room to add a shadow or do whatever I want with it. With these two colors I grabbed, I actually have the problem of there not being enough contrast. So what you can do is add another layer of color to darken it if you want to. Tip number five, if you want to make the lettering pop even more, add highlights. For this, I like to use a white pen, either the Uniball Sino gel pen or a Sakura jelly roll pen. And to add highlights, so if we have our light source up here again, the shadow is on the opposite side of the light source, but the highlight is on the same side as the light source. So the light source is up here in the top left, which means the highlights will also be in the top left. And for this, I just add some little lines or marks to serve as the highlights. This pen is actually not showing up very well. Sometimes these white gel pens don't show up as well on certain types of pens, but if that happens, you can let the first layer dry and then do another layer or two of white over it to help it stand out a little bit more. So just remember that you put the shadows on the opposite side from the light source and you put highlights on the same side of the light source. So just quickly, I'm gonna show you six shadow variations that you can play around with. The first one is to just do a one line shadow. Instead of using a brush pen, just use any regular pen and do a line for the shadow. I do this all the time and it's great for if you don't have any fancy pens, you can use any pen and just do a shadow line. You can also expand on that same idea and do multiple shadow lines. So as you do this, just make each additional line a little bit shorter than the one before it. Another variation you can try, add an outline along the letter where the shadow would be, and then you can add your shadow as usual. This might work better if you use some colors that contrast a little bit better. In this case, you can't really see the black outline. Another really fun thing to use for shadows is a pencil. You can get so many cool effects with a pencil. So you can do some scribbly, crosshatch style kind of shading with your pencil, if you want a lot of contrast, you can make the shadow really dark right next to the letter and then kind of fade it out as it gets further away from the letter. Another fun thing you can do is try blending. So you can use something like a Q-tip to blend out that pencil and give you a smooth gradient kind of look. Another fun thing to try is use a metallic or glittery pen for some extra sparkle. This is a Sakura Jelly Roll pen and it's metallic. And then the last shadow idea you can try is draw an outline around the entire letter first and then draw in and color in the shadows. And this gives you a really bold look. So those are six fun shadow variations you can try, and I hope you have fun making your lettering pop off the page with shadows. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.